morning children welcome back to max track one session in the last class we finished exercise 3.2 that is page number 49 i think we finished three questions children and almost all the questions are very easy i know that and even you to know that because almost all the sums i gave very important clue for that like consistence as inconsistence or parallel lines whatever it may be so we discussed it and coming to the fourth question now which of the following pairs of linear equations are consistent or inconsistent if consistent obtain the solution graphically that means we have to check whether that means ratio a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by 2 c1 by c2 and you know the rules and regulations for consistent and inconsistent if it is consistent if it is consistent we have to draw the graph for that okay see here i am doing the first sum for you okay here the question is x plus y equals to x plus y equals to 5 okay and the second equation is 2x plus 2y equals to 10 right x plus y equals to 5 and 2x plus 2y equals to 10 Okay, children. Now, this is the equation one, and this is equation two. And you know that a one by a two. That sorry, you have to compare this equation with the standard form of linear equation. Okay, these two equations we have to compare with the linear equations in two variables. That is, a one equals to here no coefficient here for the x coefficient. You can take it as one, and here. A two that is two, and B one here it is one, and here B two is two, whereas C one that is five, whereas C two equals to ten. If you want to bring, you can bring this side minus five and minus ten will become anything same. Now, A one by A two, A one by A two equals to one by two here, and B one by B two equals to one by two. And whereas C one by C two equals to five by ten, that means five ones, five twos. Children, if you clearly observe here, A one by A two equals to B one by B two equals to C one by C two. That means what? All three are equal. That means consistent. All three are equal, consistent. And you know, children, if all three are equal, okay, consistent. And you know that the graph will be coincide. The graph will be coincide because why I told the graph also because if they are consistent only is asking to draw the graph. And you all know that how to draw the graph. Take equation one. Just an m x plus y equals to five and y equals to five minus x from equation one. From equation one. So like this, you will find the coordinates for the first equation. And similarly for the second equation, then you draw the graph. I am sending the graph that uh, the solutions which I am explaining. For that, I am sending the graph. Once go through it, okay? Is it clear? Now how to find out the consistent and inconsistent? Understood? Now see the third question, children. Again, see the third question. Okay, see the third question there. Again, this equation we have to compare with the standard form of linear equation in two variables. From the equation one, a one equals to two, b one equals to one, c one equals to minus six, and from equation two, a two equals to four. That means the coefficient of x here, and b one equals to y. That is coefficient of y e coefficient is minus two, and whereas c two that is Minus four here constant. Okay, now here a one by a two. That means two by four is nothing but two ones two twos. That is one by two. Okay, whereas b one by b two equals to one by minus two. That is nothing but minus one by two. And coming to c one by c two, that is minus six by minus four. So minus minus get cancel. Two ones, two three. Sorry, two threes, two twos. So three by two. If you clearly observe that, a one by a two not equals to b one by b two, 
and c1 by c2 also that means we have a rule that a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 okay then the equation is what inconsistent and here almost all the three three ratios are not equal so that is inconsistent or consistent inconsistent or consistent consistent so the children here a1 by a2 sorry a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 so here it is consistent here it is consistent excuse me for that so consistent a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 so consistent if consistent is what he asked in the question you know that find the solution graphically find the solution ante x value y value find out cheyalandi man then you may get doubt sir why did not you find the some uh, solution for the first question because first question is coincide means 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 6 3 all they meet at one point only so no need for that purpose that type of sum when they coincide when they are not coincide and they are inconsistent and they are consistent and if you draw the graphs okay then how you draw the graph same just now y value find out and substitute the values of x and find out the uh, points for both the equation and if you draw the graph i am telling you if you draw the graph for this solution for this solution also i am sending you the graph okay suppose the graph the two lines for this for this line you may got like this for this line you may got like this means where the two lines intersect where the two lines intersect and okay? this line and this line where they intersect exactly okay so see that in x in x axis where it is intersect and here y axis suppose here it is 2 here it is also 2 that means 2 comma 2 that means x is 2 and y is 2 so like that you have to write that means instead of finding like a, a elimination method or substitution method graphically find the solution means where the two lines met each other okay those the exact point location that is the solution for that and here it is x and here it is y so that's why x value 2 and y value 2 just i gave a clear picture okay so this one also i did the solution and i am going to send for you okay next coming to fifth question children coming to fifth question there half the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is four more than its width is 36 meters find the dimensions of the garden actually is asking to find the dimensions of the garden that is also rectangle shape okay just for understanding purpose draw a rough figure of rectangle okay take length as x and breadth as y okay and what he has given perimeter perimeter of a rectangle that means we have taken length as x breadth as y do you know the perimeter of a rectangle formula 2 into L plus B that means 2 of X plus Y okay 2 of X plus Y is it clear and how much is given you know that is given that 36 right Two of X plus Y is the actual perimeter that means he has given the, listen very carefully the question half the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is 4 more than its width is 36 find the dimensions of the garden okay so here we consider length as x and breadth as y now what is the perimeter 2 into l plus b that means 2 times x plus y that is the first condition but in that what he has given half the perimeter half the perimeter half the perimeter means you know half the perimeter means listen very carefully already you know the perimeter is 2x plus y equals to 36 that is not perimeter 2x plus y equal to 36 half the perimeter and the dean half chased in the perimeter is 2 into x plus y for this he did half and okay? 1 by 2 so we can write as 2 so 2 to get cancelled then you got x plus y equals to 36 okay question very listen very carefully half the perimeter of a rectangular garden half the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is 4 more than its breadth 
or width is 36. And we will do this. This is 36 and the perimeter. When half the perimeter, half the perimeter and the length we don't know. Take it as x, breadth as y. So, perimeter formula 2 into L plus B. That means 2 into x plus y. That means 2 into x plus y. Then half chase you got 36. So 2 to get cancelled. So x plus y equal to 36. So this is the first condition. That is the first condition. Second condition is what? Whose length is? Length means L equals to just length is 4 more than. 4 more means plus. More than its breadth. Length is 4 more than its breadth. Second condition. This is second condition. Length is 4 more than its breadth. What is length actually? X. So, X equals to 4 plus B means Y. That means X minus, bring Y this side. So, X minus Y equals to 4. So, you got the equation 2. So, first condition X plus Y equal to 36 and the second condition X minus Y equals to 4. Now, you can find the values. Dimensions means length and breadth. Dimensions means length and breadth. So, how will you find now? You got two equations. You can use any method, elimination method or substitution method and find out the values of x and y. Means x means length, b means y, breadth. So, what will you write here? Let length of a rectangle equals to, that length of a rectangle garden equals to x, breadth of a rectangle garden equals to y. Okay? So, according to the problem, First condition 2 of x plus y by 2 equals to 36 that is x plus y equals to 36 first equation. Second condition length is you can write like this length is 4 plus breadth why because 4 more than so the condition 2 you will get like this then solve the equation for 1 and 2 and you will get the values of x and y okay listen very carefully so do that some also as a homework okay next coming to the Sixth question, children. Sixth question, I tell you last time, the last. Okay. Now, see the seventh question. Okay. See the seventh question. Draw the graph of the equation x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. Draw the graph of the equation, seventh question, x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 and the second equation is 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals to 0. Determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines and the x axis and shade the triangular region. Okay, I'll explain how to do it. You all know how to draw the graph. Okay, by using these two equations. Okay, you know how to draw. Let first find the value of y equals to something and let x equals to you will take and we will find the coordinates ok so for the two equations you will get the values like x coordinate and y coordinate then what will happen you will draw the equation of for this line plotting of the points and the second equation also line now is asking what is asking you know see the question determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines on the x axis and the x x x axis made up Vertices to form a triangle ne shape che manner. X axis to form a triangle shape che manner. Suppose, and then you just make question allow chinanko. Just and then you could x axis make question. Don't think this is only triangle. Okay, because it's a triangle, but you did not get here vertices here. Okay, I will show you through the solution. So, you draw chest a two, equation, two lines equation. You will get a triangle like this. So, which is touch the x axis vertices and touches to the window. Then shade chain 100. So, you can shade this part like this. Okay, the points will be marked according to the what? Finding of the points. I will show through the uh, solution in the graph. You can go through that. But, Understood the concept? First, find the points, then draw the graph of the two lines where the two lines meet. Okay, here. That means, here if you see clearly, here it's formed a triangle. 
but in the question it is given that very clearly determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines and the x axis and shade the regular region okay the triangular region shade the triangular region and the x axis nunchi vachhe triangle ni shade cheyam antadu so x axis nunchi ante idi so ikkada nunchi triangle form ayyadanni shade cheyam antadu okay next coming to the sixth question i told you no as i told you that sixth question i told you at last why because to give you homework only why because it's very easy given the linear equation 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals to 0 write another linear equation ante is asking us to find out the another equation me own ga you can do your write your own equation first equation is given second is second equation is asking to find by your own we own the draw try cheyam antadu ante how it should be intersecting lines ante see here the geometrical representation of the pair is formed by intersecting lines intersecting lines ante you should know that whether a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 coincident or not okay shall i give you one example listen very carefully ante first question is intersecting lines no chale the first question is intersecting the lines intersecting lines the graph should be intersecting lines okay but how will you frame the second equation first of all here the given question is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals to 0 okay take the another equation as ax plus by plus c equals to 0 this is second equation this is first equation intersecting lines means what a1 by a2 not equals to b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 also it's not equal a1 by a2 not equals to b1 by b2 is not equals to c1 by c2 okay now this is a1 this is a2 that means 2 by a 3 by b equals to minus 8 by c that means what మనం ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ ఈ ఈక్వేషన్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయాలండి వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ ద సెకండ్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఫైండ్ చేయడానికి ఈజీ వే ఏఎక్స్ ప్లస్ బీవై ప్లస్ సి తీసుకోండి టూ బై ఏ బికాస్ ఏ వన్ బై ఏ టూ ఏ టూ బై బీ టూ సి వన్ బై సి టూ సో టూ బై ఏ త్రీ బై ఏ త్రీ బై బీ మైనస్ ఎయిట్ బై సి దీస్ టూ నీడ్ నాట్ బి ఈక్వల్ అది ఈక్వల్ అవ్వకూడదు బికాస్ ఎంటర్సెక్టింగ్ లైన్స్ అండ్ కోన్సిడెంట్ కన్సిస్టెంట్ ఓకే నవ్ టూ బై if i take 3 a value 3 isconte 3 b value if i will take 2 is both are equal and my own my own consideration these two should not be equal first of all 2 by 3 3 by 2 not equal and i consider a as 3 and b as 2 so not equal next this also should not be equal to this one equals to minus 8 you can take c 3 minus 8 by 3 is not equal to 3 by 2 also that means a how much you have taken 3 so instead of a you can write here 3x b you have taken 2 so plus 2y now c you have taken 3 so plus 3 equals to 0 this is the second equation you have got it okay like this you can take it that should be intersecting lines intersecting lines ante a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 and not equals to c1 by c2 okay so like that we have taken now i got second equation okay so first equation and this is second equation now what to do draw the graph because you are asking us to draw intersecting lines okay next question is parallel lines parallel lines ante enti indi quite the opposite was ledante they will not intersect at all so parallel lines isukunna appudu ela undali a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 and not equals to c1 by c2 okay a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 not equals to c1 by c2 so ala raavali so ala vachina points me teesukoni cheyandi raakapothe just message me i'll send the solution okay but try to understand the concept appudiki ardham avakapothe just send me message i'll explain again okay is it clear children and children for 10th b children the way means the way you showed the showers on us that means on teachers day by mistake you have did not send your the video which you have done it was not uploaded you said and you have sent in the next day 
really it's very good children i am appreciating you all one and all so so much effort is there okay very good so god bless you children have a nice day children okay and you know homework is what what today what sums i explained that means two sums total three sums total three sums which i have sent those graph those three we have to do it in the graph book only which sums i did not send and i explained those sums you have to do as a homework graph aithe graph lo graph kaakapothe normal book lo cheyali okay na have a nice day children and children actually tomorrow that is ganesh chaturthi that is ganesh chaturthi tomorrow is a holiday so i think by 23rd or 24th exams are near okay so that's why by 16th onwards they are going to call or 16th or 15th they are going to call for the books correction okay books correction 15th i think so 15 16 17 because you will they will give you the time i will mostly by today itself i will going to send the books correction pdf okay on which date i have you have to come to the school and get it correct the books so saturday actually second saturday is a holiday but don't think uh, sir is giving lot of work on second saturday also i am trying to send the video okay i am trying to send the video that means class work only okay as a regular class i am going to send the class okay and you children if syllabus is not at all finished don't bother at all almost all the only word problems only word problems left with us why because you know without knowingly you finished all the uh, like uh, graphical means uh, like uh, like uh, elimination method substitution method everything you finished okay all the models you finished only we left with uh, what what will call word problems we left with only word problems so i'll try to finish up at least by tuesday even the class is not there also i am going to send you monday and tuesday also and try to finish up if not at all don't worry i am not going to give from that question model sums okay which i finished only i am going to give that so have a nice day children 